Hey folks, Jsat here. So, with the big dagger changes, which I'm really excited about, I really wanted to get out a little bit of an explanatory note on the daggers, and a bit about how I think they're good, and some breakpoints associated, etc, etc, before I leave today for the belated honeymoon. So this will be rushed, it won't be perfect, but it'll be much better than doing nothing, so let's hop in. So, the first important thing to note is that the light attack the majority of the damage comes from this residual dot. Look, 4 to 5 ticks of 4.25 damage after a beast attack of only 5.75. And also thing to note is the headshot multiplier is quite significant. 575 versus 1750. So a factor of 3 difference. This weapon is very much powered up by headshots. So let's look at charge attack as well. Body shot, 1425 times 2. Headshot, 34 times 2. Again, over a factor of two for headshotting. Criticals are also key. We can get one. Factor of three. So this is a weapon, it's one of those weapons where headshotting and crits both result in huge damage multipliers. Just base things to know. Um, the big change f over this patch is how good it is against armor. So the huge breakpoint for armor is 39 damage. We're at 18.75 times 2, or just short of 39 damage total. You need less than plus 15%, but more than plus 10% to hit 39. That means if with a little bit of scave and a little bit of armor, you can hit 15%, more than 15%, and one shot Storm Vermin in the head. That's crazy, right? Or if you're using Shade or you're using Handmaiden, you can use the Tier 2 number 3, which does 15% power. Right? Okay, so it's very easy to hit that breakpoint. Breakpoints are key, it means you do just enough damage to kill something and one less hit than you would have otherwise. Let's talk about normals for a second. So every normal, so the slaves, the clan rats, so the little uh, little dudes, um, the little horde dudes for Skaven, and the little horde dudes for Chaos, which are called fanatics, will all die with one body shot and a couple damage ticks. So you're not trying to one-shot them, you're, during a horde situation, you're trying to spread that dot around as you're moving. You'll hit one fanatic per attack, and you will hit two slave rats per attack. And you're spreading that around while staying safe with your dodge. Spreading that dot and killing things that way. Okay? Let's talk the, maul the marauders. The marauders have 39 HP. You do almost 39 HP with a single one of your daggers to the head. So a headshot instantly kills the marauders. Awesome. Really big deal. For the Maulers, it actually turns out... Oop, I don't know why I infiltrated. It actually turns out for the Maulers that you do more damage with the armored headshot. That's 37. Than you do with body shots. Of only 28. So it's actually correct to headshot Maulers. Um, and you can hit a breakpoint too there if you're a little bit. Where's that other one that's important, if anything? So the only other important breakpoint is with 33% armor chaos, so maybe you're 15% from this guy and stacking 10% chaos and armor, you get enough damage where you do 45 damage to a headshot armor, which is enough to two-shot maulers. Those are the big dudes with the armored heads and the axes, um, which is kind of a big deal. So those are the important breakpoints. Why don't we... There's one other important breakpoint to hit. Why don't we hop into a mission so I can demonstrate it? It's on Berserkers. And while we're there, we'll also talk about damage from Infiltrate. We'll be using a couple helpful mods that let us spawn and slay various breeds for the purposes of testing. Um, what we're loading up, a quick Blood note on mods. They're coming. The fields, They're soon. Vermintide's, uh, Vermintide, the devs, Fat Shark is working on them, the and the modders and the mod testers are working to make sure there's stuff in place for when the game drops. So when mods miners, drop, there'll be stuff. There'll be, there'll be there things out there. And the mod universe will be to the side of normal universe. So when you're using mods, you won't be able to get loot, so people won't be able to cheat their way into loot. But some mods will end up being whitelisted and brought into the, the normal game. Okay, so that's soon. Why don't we spawn something? Why don't I turn on my hotkeys so I can do it easily? 
So I want to show, see, the Berserkers. So Berserkers, it's 52 HP for a Monk, 54% for a Chaos Berserker. We do. 51. We are really close to breakpoints. So 15% power from the Tier 2 talent on, ha on Handmaiden or on Shade is enough to one charge shot the, the Berserkers and the Monks and those guys right there in the head. Or you'd need just a little bit plus Cave and a little bit plus chaos so those are the key breakpoints um why don't while we're here why don't we pull out a skaven ogre to look at those that damage so first of all she says the headshot too 42.5 a headshot just 244 and now the question, as always, is a is it better to do a back stab or is it better to do a headshot? So we'll look. Actually, I actually expect the damage to be a little higher. I think we might have missed the head. Two sixty point five. So the big takeaway I think you should see is the damage difference between body shot. I think that was a front body shot, not a headshot. The number I expected for the headshot was 266.5. But the real takeaway is the difference in damage between headshotting, body shotting, and backstab body shotting is not very big. It's for the back for the uh, infiltrate, for the ult, for the shade. So I would actually say positioning is more important. But if you absolutely have to do most damage, I believe the correct answer is to headshot. Let me just make sure that's one more time the case. 282.5. Okay. That's what I expected. So the headshot is slightly better than the backstab, which is slightly better than the body shot. These are not key things. Okay, so let's bring it back up to top level. With the 15% damage uh, power from the two talents on the tier 2 on Shade and Handmaiden, you already hit the breakpoints for Berserkers and for the Skaven, um, K, uh, Storm Vermin. So the only question there is, are you going to try to hit the Mauler breakpoint? I would say, in order to do that, you need to stack Armor and Chaos, which means you would need... Well, it's, it's, I don't think it's that important. So if you can happen to hit 10% Armor, 10% Chaos, it's okay. It means that you get two two shot maulers, but it's, I don't really think it's that important. Two versus three, um, especially because a quick note: watch how fast you can do the second one into two. You don't have to wait for her to finish twirling, right? Look, second the second the hands come back up on the screen, you can release the second one. So charge one into charge two, you can do really fast. So doing three sets of charge attacks against the body to kill a mauler is already just fine. If you're playing hand, if you're playing Waste Stalker and don't get that free 15% power and you have to hit a breakpoint, the most important breakpoint almost certainly, unless you're bringing Longbow and you're going to use Longbow against Storm Vermin, but if you're bringing anything else and you need to kill a lot of Storm Vermin, then you want 15% or so versus Storm Vermin armor. Um, the best way to do that is probably to put 10% Skaven on the daggers and 10% armor on the charm. Um, okay, what else? While we're here, I wanted to talk briefly about how to optimize the weapon and what it's good at and how to do it. So I really like to bring Hagbane with it as my CC. So my normal strategy is to pull stuff towards me, to use nice dodging. Dodging protects your stamina, protects you while you do some DPS as they get to you, and then they stack up. As a, you're not killing the ones that come to you fast enough, right? You're just making them look silly by just dodging back and forth. And after they've stacked up a little bit, you pull back, put a hagbane shot or two into them for massive AoE and massive stagger, and then you come back in with the dagger and clean up. Oh, shoot. Went right past it. Okay. These quiet moments bore me. Bring on the fool. So pulling them. 
We're gonna dodge dance to slow them down. Wait for them to stack up. Okay, they stacked up. Again, too much. Using dodge to protect our stamina. Ooh, I could go, I can stack them up right here. Why don't I stack them up? Nice and good to get maximum value out of my Hagbane. And now there's not very many, and I can just dodge dance to clean up. In a slightly more realistic scenario, they wouldn't have come in quite that stacked to begin with. Okay, so that's a really nice technique. You're using dodge to protect yourself and to protect your limited stamina. Um, if you don't have Hagbane, you're out of ammo, you need to conserve your ammo because you don't have enough regen. You basically want to come in and out. Again, trying to only hit them once. All you have to do is hit them once. We'll demonstrate again. We only need to hit each fanatic once. So we're going to dance in and out, protecting our life, our stamina. Remembering we only have an effective dodge count of five, so we can't dodge infinitely. We have to break dodges every once in a while. Okay. Pretty scary scenario. Weave in, weave out. A lot of hyperdensity. Try not to get cornered. You have to know you're going to hit trade. And I could sit here and do this and get a little better with it. This is also, of course, the morning I'm leaving. What was that? So I'm not particularly warmed up. But you get the idea. It's possible to take cords, but it's messy. Much cleaner. If you have the ammo. And now you clean up. If you want to see more of how to do this, I posted the shade video yesterday, and I'll post a handmade in demonstration of using this tomorrow. That was much cleaner, see? I used the Hagbane to break the charge. In a real scenario, you use your teammates to break the charge and kind of skirt around the edge of your teammates and use them to control and to break the momentum of the initial charge. What else is there to say? So the damage is high enough that you'll be one-shotting most of the specials with your charge attack. So running up and using that's a nice key. Uh, a little note on Shade, now that Shade's back in fashion. If you're using Blood Fletcher, Armo, on Backstab, um, you can easily backstab once or twice at the end of Infiltrate to get four in each backstab, since it's two different weapons, counts as two hits, you get two ammo. There's four ammo. I really am liking using um, this bow. This Hagbane has Barrage on it. Every time you hit the same target, it's plus 5% damp hero power up to 25, and it stacks with everything multiplicatively. And you only have to shoot them every so often to keep it up, and it stacks with Infiltrate. So let's demonstrate. And I'll post a video, like on Sunday or something, where we, I used this with a Hyper Twitch intervention. Tons and tons of bosses to good effect. It does lots of damage. Plus, it's quite fun to play. So, dodge your standing attack. So you're seeing, you're seeing like 300 damage. Let my barrage go. 
And with real players, you'll have lots more chances. You also see the damage, even with just normal headshots, is quite high. So I would say that this is probably your best single target DPS now. Um, for Elf, it's really fun. Get out there and play it, guys. Um, I'll be back, not this next Monday, but the Monday after. But I've got videos for the week, so and, and I'll be available mobile. So I'll answer questions on Discord and stuff. I hope everybody has a great week, and I uh, hope this was helpful. See you guys later.